you know, in real estate, being this part of the season, we recommend that people do have flood insurance. Yes. Um, and so a couple months ago, I, I bound, I just made sure I bound flood insurance on all of the properties that I yeah. have. Flood insurance covers the flooding part of a catastrophe, but it also covers like floods from like a water heater mm -hmm. or some, a pipe burst internal. Um, so flood insurance isn't necessarily for just weather. Oh well, yeah, just a hurricane. Yeah, and it's not really expensive. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. We're talking like what four to six, maybe eight hundred dollars yep. a year. Yeah. Um, and of course, the further you're out, I'm sure the the, the less it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is a great idea for a lot of people that aren't aren't even in flood zones. Was is Orlando a flood zone? Uh, well, all of the state of Florida is a good question. The entire state of Florida is in a flood zone, so it's uh, no known as X flood zone. Um, but X flood zone does not require flood insurance if you have a mortgage. Um, right, right, yeah. And um, but if you're in the other flood zones, A E V E flood zones, then you are required to hold flood insurance if you have a mortgage. Okay, well that's all. Being from Georgia, or well, actually born in Florida, but raised mostly in Georgia, and now back in Florida, I'm still learning some of my Florida, Florida what yeah. no Florida ways. Yeah, Florida ways yeah. again. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't realize that. I thought X was just kind of like, no, you're not in a flood zone, but I didn't really pay it's attention. Flood zone. Well, interesting. Yeah. Now you know something new that you can explain I to I, people. I, I do. I do. Because <laughs> I was going to say, because, you know, Orlando <laughs> flooded and they're like in the middle of the whole state. They're not, you know, I'm sure there's bodies of water around there. Well, floods occur. I, I lived there too a while, yeah. uh, years ago, but yeah. I can't, I you know, was only there like six months. But, um, but it's not like near any ocean and yet with yeah. this hurricane they got flooded so again flood insurance is a good idea and floods occur for different reasons like the sewage can get you know sewage lines straight drains can get backed up all the retention ponds can get backed up from you know water um that's what happened well, that was a hurricane that came through but it didn't flood it did it what was that and then property we looked rise. at i mean if you are on the coast we looked at a property that something with the sewage the uh, yes so they had yeah there's issues sometimes with cities um, and subdivisions where the sewage lines, it's, it's like over capacity. And so when a, a storm or a flood or, you know, something comes through like that, it can't, it can't take it. And when you have a lot of rain, it'll flood those area. Yeah. And we had, uh, areas. we looked at sewage the house and drainage. That had that. I don't want to just say sewage drainage. Yeah. 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 But they came back through the pipes mm -hmm. in the house and they said that the husband had to run out there oh, yeah. and pull the lid off the, uh, I guess the sewer lid. Mm -hmm off out on the road to make it kind of come out that way and then it stopped coming in their house mm -hmm. but again happened because so would flood insurance cover that they actually um got insurance they i don't know if you want to say sued but the county flood insurance covered ah, some of their loss interesting yeah. did not know that because mm -hmm. it was a it was a county issue that, that's pretty cool mm -hmm. such good information while i'm blinded by the light Hey.